Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to share one card and one envelope that I created with a die set from Trinity Stamp. This one is called Narrow Card Bookmark Die with Envelope and Bonus Dies. There is actually one that is just called Narrow Card and Bookmark if you just want that one. It's a kind of a big price difference between these two but I personally really love this envelope die. And this is gonna create an envelope that is um, six by uh, three and a quarter uh, tall and it's gonna be uh, the card is gonna be six inches uh, tall so I really like this one and it's a fun it's a fun shape to play around with and it's something I really like so for this card uh, actually this envelope I'm starting out with a blending brush from Trinity stamp and I'm just taking one of my favorite colors that are pick um, cracked pistachio and I'm going heavy at the bottom and then I'm gonna fade it out towards the top and I'm also gonna use a stencil that is from Trinity stamps called layered fireworks and this is actually two stencils that's come in one pack and it's meant to layer up all of these fun uh, fireworks so you will see mine will actually more turn out like flowers I think uh, but the purpose was actually to make this uh, fun card for somebody uh, with fireworks but um, <laughs> we'll see how I do here so I'm taking some other colors that are my favorites and I'm trying to uh, put them at the top of this since we have that uh, green color at the bottom and I don't want them to mix too much uh, Because I don't want to create muddy colors and I wanted this to be a bright and vibrant card So I'm picking colors that I personally really like So here's the fun one you can see I actually off camera did go in with a blue uh, color uh, and put on the stencil that is called number two or if you want to call this number one but this is on the one that we layer with these uh, fireworks so really pretty I actually will go in with one more of those dotted um, fireworks just at the top just to fill it in a little bit more and I will do that in yellow and if you see some extra hands in this in this video it's because my daughter was here helping me <laughs> before she went to bed so here is how it turned out I really like this and I like the colors and everything so now I will show you how to put this envelope together it was really easy and this was actually the first time I used this die so if I can do it you probably can do it a lot better than me I went ahead and uh, creased all uh, the parts that were um, that are meant for it the die is actually doing the cuts for you and everything but you have to crease them and I took some strong double-sided tape uh, to these parts and I used my bone folder just to make sure that they really stuck together and I will take the suck uh, the last part here that creates the bottom and then it's done I will show you that it fits inside so now for the actual card I will do the same thing here I will go in with the a blending brush from Trinity Stamps at the bottom of this panel and then I will fade it up towards the top but this time I use this happy bright uh, yellow and I will win with some of the fireworks but this time I will not layer them I will just use them as one layer and you can see how that turned out I'm really impressed with how good this stencil is and how great they are layering I don't know if you could see it but they actually have the uh, like laser print i don't know if that is what it's called in english but it has a texture of the the other shape so you really know how to line it up when you have them on top of each other so you cannot go wrong with these stencil they are really easy to line up so i'm doing the same thing here using my blending brush making sure of course to clean it between all the colors so i don't get muddy muddy ink and for the green one, I was really worried that it wouldn't turn out the way I wanted it to. It wasn't that perfect cracked pistachio. You will see it here in a second. I'm actually not going to let you see me <laughs> go through all of this again. But you can see the cracked pistachio actually turned out great on the yellow one here as well. So I'm happy about that. So in this uh, die set, there are also some um, 
sentiments that comes with it. You could see them in the beginning. So I just decided to cut them out of some white and gold paper and adhere them to this card base. I'm using a DIY, um, like, uh, what it's called, like, uh, adhesive thingy that you can put your things in so it's easier to use. That was a really good description by the way, so I'm sorry about that, but you probably could see on screen what it was. And I also used some sequins from Trinity Stamps. I really like this one in gold. It's one of my favorite ones from them because it's the perfect shade of gold and it goes so well with the colors I used here. So now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close-up of how it turned out and actually also how they fit inside of this envelope. And I hope you liked this project. If you did, please give it a uh, thumb up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so and hit that bell button so you can see more videos from me coming up in the future. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye!